Hi, my name is Andy Sykes. I'm an award-winning animator and illustrator based in the UK. Welcome to my lessons on Flash CS5. This is my website, hexjibber.com. You can check out my animation, my illustration, my interactive work, and also more of my video tutorials in Flash. Enjoy. Hi, and welcome to my tutorial on exporting for video in Flash CS5. Now last time I used my lip syncing tutorial files uh, with a photograph of North Yorkshire Dales in the background. In this lesson I'm going to show you how to export for video formats like DVD, Blu-ray, exporting for YouTube, etc. A lot of the animation I do is for broadcast, so it ends up on DVD or on the internet, not playing in an SWF. Exporting for video used to be a real pain in the backside, but recent improvements in the Adobe Creative Suite have made it a lot easier. First off, I'm going to show you how to use an SWF and After Effects to create a video file. So let's just take a look at our published settings, which we checked out last time. And I've shoved my JPEG quality up to 100, just so that we get the maximum quality out of our background. I've ignored the audio settings because those won't show up in After Effects. We'll have to import our audio separately, which is good because then it'll come in at its original quality. So I'm going to click OK, and then I'm going to go to File, Export, Export Movie. And you can see that I'm using a file called exportvideo.fla. And you can see that over here, my export folder, export video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to export it as an SWF movie called exportvideo.swf and save. And then I'm going to find that. Here we go. That's our file there. So next up, I'm going to open up After Effects. Here we go. And you can see I've got a blank project there. So I'm just going to pull my exportvideo.swf into my project there. I also need to get my audio. So I'll find that in my lip sync folder. So here we go. This is my lip sync audio. I'm going to pull that in. So next up, I need to right click on my exportvideo.swf in After Effects. Go to Create Proxy and click on Movie. What it'll do is it'll create an export video composition. If I double click, that's got my entire animation in it. And next, I just need to pull my Lip Sync WAV into this area down here where the layers are. And that'll sync it up nicely with my animation. So that's just a case of going over to the render queue here and having a look at our settings. We've got render settings, they're on draft at the moment. I think I'll stick them on best. I'll change the preset to MPEG2 DVD, so that's a sort of DVD format. I'm going to output to export video.m2v. That's a DVD format. If I click on that, it'll show me that it's going to put it in a folder called video, which I've selected. File format MPEG2 DVD and I just need to click on render here you can see now that's rendered let's just check it out in our folder here We've got our export video m2v I can open that up I think I'll probably open it in VLC hi welcome to my tutorial on lip syncing in flash so there we go we've got our exported video fantastic now a process like that used to be incredibly difficult in flash but now that you can export SWS into both After Effects and Premiere, that makes it really easy to create a video stream of your animations. Next up, I'm going to show you the other way of doing it. This is the way I tend to export my animations. It's a surefire way of getting the best quality possible. I'm going to go to File, Export, Export Movie. I'm going to create a new folder called Frames. Click Create. And instead of using the format SWF, I'm going to change it to a PNG sequence. Now the good thing about PNGs as opposed to JPEGs is they're non-lossy, so there isn't any compression on them, so you get the absolute best quality possible. So I'm going to click on PNG and go to save. And what it'll do is it'll ask me uh, what dimensions I want to export to. I'm going to keep the ones 720 by 1280 that are in my file. OK, 
keep the resolution at 72 dpi colors 24 bit you could stick an alpha channel in there if you wanted if you've got a transparent background i'm not going to bother with any filters i'm going to leave smoothing on i'm going to include the full document size i'm just going to click ok and now it'll export as an image sequence so for every frame that i've got in my animation up here it's going to create a PNG file. And you can see I've got well over 140 frames. So this exporting might take a while. If I was using Windows, I'd probably export as a .bmp file because they're non-lossy. But if I'm using a Mac, I tend to use PNGs. Okay, so our export's finished. We can go over to After Effects here and go to File, Import, File. We want our export folder. I'm going to go into my frames. And I'm going to click on export video 001.png. That's the first one of my files because Flash is named them sequentially. And you can see down here it's format PNG, import as footage. That's what I want. And it's a PNG sequence. Tick force alphabetical order on there. Click open. So now we have a frame sequence. So if I right click on that, as I did before, create proxy and go to movie, I double click on that and now I have a composition of my frame sequence, you can see it's playing through there. I can pull my lip sync wab into my project down here so that syncs up nicely. So just the same as we did with our SWF, I'm now using a frame sequence of PNGs. This is the most high quality way of exporting your work using an image sequence. It takes a bit more time, but what I tend to do is export as SWFs and bring those into After Effects whilst I'm working on a project. And when I've finished, I'll export it as a PNG sequence. So I only actually have to do that once. Just a few more notes on exporting. I'd steer clear of exporting your movie as QuickTime just because these settings often give you laggy movies that skip frames or slow down. It's just to do with the way that Flash exports to QuickTime. What it does is it plays through your SWF and just records that. So if your computer slows down whilst it's playing that SWF, it will record that slowing down. Equally on the PC, if you're exporting as a .avi, then you will have problems with getting the right codec, and sometimes flash runs out of memory when it's exporting to an AVI. So exporting as an image sequence or exporting as an SWF and bringing them into After Effects is a surefire way of getting your video exported without any lagging or skipping frames. So try it yourself and I'll see you in the next lesson. Hi, if you enjoyed this lesson, why not consider checking out the Hextuber Coloring and Activity book on my website, hextuber.com. It's suitable for kids and adults alike, and you can get it from Amazon, Play.com, and WH Smiths. Cheers.